My name is Art Fisher. I am a bodybuilding competitor in the NPC. Since May 10th, 2014, just a short months back, I went on a my own little NPC tour, competed in nine tournaments, placing in the top five of every tournament from first overall from overall to first place to fifth place in every show in at least one class. Over the last four weeks, October 4th, I was in the Reno Best of the West. I won the overall for the novice class. I won first place in novice. I won the Masters 40 first place. I won the middleweight third place open class. Um, a week after that, I competed in the San Francisco Championships at Chabot College in Hayward. I then took one week off prepping and went into the Sacramento show October 31st and then a week later competed in Washington State in the Northwest Championships. When I was in Reno, Nevada in the Best of the West tournament, when they called my name for the first trophy for the first place, I couldn't imagine. The feeling was just awesome to get first place. Then they put me in the overall and I won. I won the overall which was a huge trophy. And then I won the first place in the 40s Masters. That was three trophies for that night. Then I still had one more class to go, which was the men's middleweight open. And I won third place, which is the hardest class. That's right below pro. And I came in third place. I was going against men in their 20s. And I'm 44 years old. Art Fisher was born in the San Francisco Bay Area in a city called Hayward, California. I just competed in the San Francisco Championships, which was at Chabot College, which you can throw a baseball and hit the house I used to live in. I've been married 13 years to uh, Carmen Fisher. When we met, I lived in Santa Clara in the Silicon Valley and there was a Safeway store, and you'd be surprised what you can pick up at Safeway. <laughs> because she was a friend and manager over there, and you know, I'd go in there and buy me a pack of gum or whatnot, but I would find a way to go in there, and finally one, you know, it took me like three attempts asking her to lunch, and finally she caved in, and pretty much the rest is history, you know, when we were going on our 14th year together. My parents highly support me, uh, they are, Always, my father's always at my bodybuilding shows, just like my children and my wife. He has not missed one, nor my brother. Um, I have a younger brother. Uh, my mom goes when she can. When Art Fisher was growing up, I, would, I went from bowling, I went to basketball, I ended up at football, wrestling. I just always like to compete. I love the adrenaline rush. I love the spotlight. I love to play under the lights. I used to love the night games. Um, I've always been into somewhat lifting weights as far back or sports as far back as I can remember. Um, but I, until recently, see, I used to work 60 to 80 hours a week. And I was fortunate enough to retire at a fairly young age and live my dream, or at least experience my dream, bodybuilding full time. So I would say about, about one year ago, exactly, I hired a personal trainer. And when I went in that personal gym and I seen those trophies right there, wow, geez, I wanted one, I'm gonna get one. And that was what lit my fuse and the rest is realistically history. I have a internationally known trainer, Mr. Kim Otto, who's from owns Body Bio out of Southern California. Um, he spe specially designs all my diets, exercise routines, everything you can imagine that goes in my body. 
Kim has given direction, whether it's a supplement, an enzyme, an acid, a time to eat, a carb count, a certain carb, or even a filet steak every once in a while to spike my metabolism. That's all directed by Kim Otto. We speak approximately every week to 10 days. We constantly talk through email and he sends me a new plan weekly on Mondays. From there, and that new plan tells me what my diet's gonna be for the next seven days based on the pictures that I send him usually Thursday to Friday mornings. By Sunday, usually I have a new design and we talk Monday mornings, how it's been lately. And that explains the uh, new diet based on what he sees. You know? And from there, he sends it, sends it to me and I pass it to my co-trainer, who is my wife, Carmen Fisher, who then spends about 12 hours that Monday preparing the next seven days meal courses, which is about 42 meals at six per day. And she freezes each one. She cooks, preps, weighs, freezes, and makes it very simple for me to where the day before, I just pull them out of the freezer and drop them right in the, my own personal refrigerator. Besides my wife and Kim Otto, my trainer, the rest of my family, known as my three eight-year-old triplets, very much support me. They are my personal little milk clocks. I set my cell phone on the portable docking station near the kitchen. When that alarm goes off, my, one of my kids will come up, gently wake me up and say, Dad, it's time to eat. And I say thank you and I get up and they already have it in the microwave for me and everything. I'm 44 years old right now. Let me tell you, I compete against young men 24 years old. and. When we're in the pump-up room, I always go over and talk to them and shake their hand. And I tell them, I wish I would have started when you are starting. Had I known, because I thought I knew it all at 24. Back then, it was going out for appetizers and a cold beer after work. And I thought that was just the way of life. I thought that was cool. Well, these young men that I'm competing against in the open in their 20s, they look awesome and I am just so impressed by them that they made the decision to do what I wish I could have done. Now I'm 44 years old and I'm telling you it's never too late. I'm middle aged and I want to be an inspiration to everybody that if I can do it, you can do it. What I would tell an eight year old is my son wants to be a competition bodybuilder. He's eight years old and it's way too young, you know, you don't want to damage a child's plates or hurt them, hurt them. of course I don't want to do that. Um, but we have him in martial arts, he does calisthenics, he does pull-ups with me, sit-ups, um, those kind of exercises. And, and of course, as soon as we finish, he wants his whey protein because that's dad's muscle milk. And all, in fact, all three of my kids are in, in competition martial arts. My daughter is just, totally impressed with the razzle dazzle of the bikini competition and she's already been over to the bikini booth and is picking out her outfit that she'd like you know and she's got her eye on the prize she wants to compete on stage she's made her mind up um, but you know right now we have them in martial arts you know it's where they belong right now they're doing good They've been in three years and um, we made a deal with them and they're gonna get their black belts and they're about halfway there. So the whole family is into competitions, um, whether it's martial arts or bodybuilding. You know, so we're all trying to be as fit as we can. A lot of people ask me, what's Art Fisher gonna do next? My own goal is to get my pro card. I want to strengthen our sport, help our sport any way I can. I wanna help people. Um, Cause that's what it's all about. That's what we're doing up there. We're showing what you can do if you put your mind to it, our hard work. I mean, we live in the Sacramento area and a lot of my shows, I travel from Southern California up to Washington and everywhere in between. It's a huge league. You, there's not a state out there where, pretty much that I know of where you can't find a bodybuilding show in the NPC. And not that I don't get tired, and I'll tell you, I always tell myself as the week before a show, I need to take a break. I'll tell my wife, 
think I need a break. I know sooner than the show's over and I'm carving up having a little dinner. <laughs> I'm on my pad or on my phone looking for the next show. Once you get into the pro league, doors open up more and more and more. There's possibility always for sponsorships. There's possibility for worldwide tours. There's bodybuilding shows all over the world. And I've been fortunate enough every show, nine shows, I have 16 trophies sitting on my trophy rack right now at home. It's very hard work, it's very disciplined, and it takes a lot of time. And that's what I'm in it to win. I want to go all the way and I want to succeed. My goal is to get my pro card. Where we go from there, this story is to be continued. Focus on the finish and keep my hands